I didn't know she was fuzzy, now I love the leaves. Oh God, I'm gonna get sphagnum moss all over the place. So, so happy that I finally have it. Oh my gosh, she is beautiful. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and I'm coming back at you with another Palanty unboxing. I am so excited. I ordered another Palanty package. There are five plants in here, but hear me out. I shared this order with a friend of mine, so two are hers and three are mine, and they're all Hoyas, which is very, very exciting. Both her and me have been really, really getting into Hoyas. So I decided to treat myself and get some, get some nice little cute babies. Now we ordered from, I believe the site is called Plantipus, which is a very cute name. And they pretty much specialize in Hoyas. And they have some gorgeous freaking specimens. It was so hard choosing because they have just the most beautiful, beautiful Hoyas. However, a lot of them are very freaking expensive, which is crazy. Like why are Hoyas so expensive? And usually it's just for a little unrooted cutting. Like that is, that's nuts to me. Like they are small little plants. I mean, I know they grow slow as hell. So maybe that's the reason why they're so pricey, but I am not a fan. Oh, let's dig in. This is so exciting. I love unboxing plants. Okay, there is a lot of packing material, which is good. Also, they ship these plants on Monday and they arrive today. Today is Thursday. Oh my God. They are so well and nicely packaged. I can't wait to dig in. Now, some of these are, oh, I op opened them upside down, God damn it! it's fine, it's fine. Now, some of these are um, unrooted cuttings, some of them are very small established plants, and some of them like are a little bit of a bigger plant. But oh my God, this is so exciting, so, so exciting. Alrighty, also they are very nicely and securely packed in this bubble wrap, which is so exciting. So we have a little plant number one. Then we have, oh God, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be gentle and not damage my new babies. This is so exciting. Then we have plant numero two. I'm trying to hide them a little bit so you don't see which ones they are. Then we have number, oh God, number, number, number three. And two more that I need to get out of the packaging. And then once I get them all out of the packaging, then we'll do the proper unboxing. These are very well packaged. I don't, um, they are using a lot of plastic, which I'm not a fan of. I do prefer when when plant shops ship their plants in in like paper uh, packaging or just packaging that's more recyclable. But here we are, the last one. So, oh God, which one should we unbox first? Let's maybe unbox the ones that my friend ordered. And let's start with this one. You can probably already see what it is, but she is such a cutie. and. Looks like she comes in a little glass jar, which is very interesting. Haven't seen that before. This is our first time ordering from this plane shop. So I don't know what to expect. Like I said, I'm not a fan of all the plastic wrap. I will say that, but they do seem to have arrived in pretty good condition. Okay, I need I need my scissors for this because this is ridiculous. But I'm trying not to damage the plants. Ooh, 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 ooh. Alrighty, let's see. Will I be able to do it now? Uh, so much plastic wrap. Alrighty, there we go. Oh my God, she is adorable. So cute. So this is a Hoya Kamenjii something, I think. <laughs> Maybe I'm butchering that name. I did not check which exactly we ordered, but I think that's how you pronounce that one. I will, I will leave the name somewhere on the screen, so don't you worry about that. But yeah, this is really cute. Such a little cutie patootie. Very adorable, very small, dainty leaves. 
And she indeed does come in a glass jar, which is very, or no, this is plastic. It's plastic, it's plastic. Okay, it's not, it looks like glass, interesting. It's, she comes in a little plastic jar, no drainage. Very, very interesting. So I guess that's how they must be growing them over there. Let me just remove this tape and remove this little topping. Ooh, alrighty. Okay, okay. So yeah, they do have them in these. Oh, I see, I see, I see. There is a little drainage hole over here and then they put them in an extra little cup. That is cute. Oh God, I got tape on my finger. That is very, very cute. Okay, and it seems like since this is a specialty store, um, I do like, it seems like they're using a special kind of mix. It's definitely not the generic, um, the generic mix that you find in most garden stores. And this Hoya is very well rooted. I don't know if you'll be able to see because it is kind of dusty and crusty, but I can see definitely some very healthy roots. So this is amazing. So cute, so freaking cute. Okay, let's do another one that my friend ordered because I want to keep mine for last. Mine, I have, I ordered mostly baby plants, but I also ordered two Hoyas that I wanted for such a long time. I think they're pretty commonly available nowadays, but back in the day, I was so in love with them and I remember seeing them in people's videos and I was just, oh, I was just so awestruck by them. So I will definitely keep those for last. But yeah, let me just unwrap her. Oh, she is so cute. She is so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, she is a little bit floppy. I'm sorry, you can't see anything. She is a little bit flop Tina, but that's all right. Maybe she just needs some water and like a better, a better little home. But yeah, she is adorable. Oh my god. Okay, let me just pull off this freaking plastic. There we go. So again, I forgot the name of this one. Do I have like a receipt or something? I don't see one. Mm -hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, no, 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 they're here, they're here. Oh my God, this is adorable. That is so adorable. They, they printed the little labels so you can like put them on your plants. That is so cute. So this is Hoya F. Waliniana UT. 015. Oh, I accidentally pulled one off. <laughs> so that is this one. And yeah, this was Hoya uh, Kamenjiana. Is that how you pronounce it? I hope so. But yeah, they're so cute. Alrighty, so next one, we are moving on to my, my little planties. And let's start off with this one. Again, let me just get off all this freaking tape. I do, oh, this one, I, I felt the leaf, it feels so amazing. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And this is one that I got predominantly for the blooms because the blooms are gorgeous. Oh, oh and she is fuzzy. I didn't know she was fuzzy, now I love the leaves. What is this? This is a Hoya Caudara Sumatra. And she has gorgeous blooms. I will put them up on the screen if I can find some. But she also has really cool, kind of rough textured, fuzzy leaves. I am, I am so excited. She's very long. She is very, very long. But I am so excited to add this little guy to my collection. Again, very well rooted, which is fabulous. Oh my God, I didn't know I was gonna love this one so much. I literally, I literally uh, added that one just as a little filler at the end of my order, just so I can get the free shipping, but that is amazing. Okay, let's do the unrooted cutting because I did order one that's unrooted and it comes packed in a little sphagnum moss thingy, which is very, very good. So the roots don't dry out. I, I usually don't have a problem with rooting Hoyas. I usually put them in like a sphagnum moss, um, cocoa core mix, and I always dome them just to, uh, just to give them max humidity. And that always seems to do the trick with Hoyas or honestly with a majority of my plants. 
But oh my God, this is this was a wish list plan for such a long time for me. And I'm so excited to finally have it. Oh my God, look at it. Look at it. It is a cutie little Hoya Thompsonia. Jesus, these leaves, they are so fuzzy. I wanted this plant for such a long time because of the fuzzy leaves. The fuzzy leaves are everything. And this is an unrooted cutting, so I will be sure to put her in some sphagnum and hopefully she will grow. That is... That is amazing. That is so, so freaking amazing. I love her. Oh my God. Okay, continuing on, we have the last one, which is probably the one uh, at the top of my wish list. And again, it's one that's currently pretty commonly available, I believe. I'm not sure. I, I haven't seen them over here for sale even once, so I definitely had to kind of search for it. I saw it on some online stores, but I never bit the bullet because they're still a little bit pricey. And yeah, I just didn't, I wasn't sure, but then I saw it in the store and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get it. Oh my gosh, she is beautiful. This is a Hoya Nicholsonia uh, New Guinea Ghost. And I wanted the New Guinea Ghost for such a long time. These are stunning. They are so, they, they feel so nice under your fingertips. And they are this gorgeous, gorgeous minty, minty color. And if they sun stress, they can become like bright pinky purple. It looks so cool. Again, I will insert some images if I can find them. But I'm so excited to have this little guy. And they're, they're all so tiny and small. But see, this is what I'm talking about. Hoyas are so small and so tiny, but they're so freaking expensive. Like this whole order was around 100 euros. That's crazy. That is freaking crazy. But I am excited that I got him because, yeah, I don't know. Just a little treat for myself because... I have been a really, really good boy, and I haven't been buying plants actually a lot in the past couple of months. I would say even in the past couple of years, or not a couple of years, <laughs> this past year. I haven't been buying a lot of plants, and that's been due to me just being a little bit, a little bit uh, burned out with my plant collection. But in the couple, in the last couple of weeks, I've been really on top of it, and all of my plants are in pretty good condition. So I was like, I'm gonna treat myself to some hoyas because they're just so cute. And I love Hoyas because they can literally fit everywhere. Like I have a gorgeous Vitz show display shelf where a majority of my plants live. And I can just tuck them in there and they're gonna be looking cute and gorgeous and slow growing, but that's okay, I don't mind. But mm. so cute, so cute. And as you can see as well, she is rooted, which is fabulous. I am so, so, so happy with this purchase. They're so cute, so dainty, love them. So, to recap, we have Ma, uh, the Hoya Kamenjiana. So this is gonna go to my friend. I almost said mine, but it's not mine, it's my friend, so she will be getting that one. And she will also be getting the Hoya F. Woliniana UT152. Yes, 152. Gorgeous, stunning beauty, I love. I love, 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 love the new leaves on her. Just so beautiful. So freaking beautiful. Then we have my Hoya Kodata Sumatra, and I do hope she blooms because I would just, I would, I would literally perish if this bloomed. Literally perished. Then we have my little Hoya Thompsonia cutting, which I actually need to put into water or into my into my propagation substrate ASAP because I do not want anything to dry out. And finally, we have my Hoya, Thoms uh, not Thompsonia, Hoya, uh, what's it called? Hoya, uh, did I call this one Thoms? No, this is Hoya Nicholsonia New Guinea Ghost. Got my Hoyas confused, but yeah, cutie little pie. So I'm very happy for my purchase. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section below which of these plants was your favorite. Do you have any of these plants? If you do, please leave any tips and tricks down in the comment section below as well. And I hope you have a super amazing, freaking fabulous day. 
and I will catch you in the next one. So goodbye.